Hi Hilda, Hi. As, as the director of data uh, and AI at uh, Crayon, uh, you work uh, with a team of, uh, of engineers, uh, architects and, uh, and scientists um, uh, that design, develop and, and manage um, data platforms and AI powered solutions. Um, since you work so closely with, uh, with a lot of customers, um, could you tell me something about the, the elements that success with AI is, is made of? Um, yes, definitely. I can tell you not just about uh, some elements, but maybe my favorite three elements that I think uh, successful AI is made of. And I will start with actually um, the, the one that I think most customers make mistakes with is um, identifying the right business problem to address and also clearly shaping and defining this business problem. Um, this helps two aspects. On one hand, it helps organizations um, define a business case around it because it's important once the solution is being built that this generates um, true business value. Um, but on the other hand, understanding the business problem also helps scientists and the data specialists like data scientists in my team better understand what type of solution would make sense to develop in order to solve this problem. So problem, identifying the problem is the key to, is the first key element to success. The second element is, of course, because it's, uh, it's typical for AI. Without the data, there is no AI. So having high quality, um, the right volume, but also the right data is really important. Um, often time um, people here are saying um, bad data, bad AI. Basically, it means that one, if you don't have the right data or low quality data, it also means that you're developing or you might be developing a very poor quality AI. And the third element, which is um, uh, around more engineering, engineering skills and engineering capabilities, I would mention having the right infrastructure, having the right data and MLOps platform to build on is highly important, as well as having the right engineering skills in the team. Because this is where most companies fail when they're um, building AI projects. Um, they end up in the POC phase and it's very hard then to pass this phase. And the reason for that is that there is a very large gap uh, currently between data scientists and software developers and having this engineering skill set in the team that helps bridge this gap is highly important in order to succeed that we put these models into production and then they generate continuous business value. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, uh, now we know uh, many organizations are keen to explore um, AI uh, and what they can do with it. What would be your best advice for organizations or businesses uh, to, to get started? For organizations that are basically just seeing out there that there's, a, that there's value to be generated with data and AI, I would say the first and foremost uh, is important to define a clear strategy around it and the roadmap because succeeding with AI is not just about identifying a couple of use cases, some interesting use cases and then implementing those use cases, but it's also a lot about the organization, um, the environment and the, the tool set around it. So thinking about elements, do I have the right team in place? who can support me in developing these use cases and also enabling the rest of the people in the organization to adopt those solutions. Mm. Um, and also around the tool set I mentioned before in the key elements for success, I mentioned infrastructure and platform, mm. having also that and having a clear strategy around it. Mm. So thinking maybe also about the cloud strategy because mm. currently cloud is really an enabler to first towards accelerating um, AI development mm. is also really important. Mm. And Having this in mind, so once organizations define a clear strategy, then I would say identify in the organization a few use cases that can um, uh, provide value. Uh, prioritize those use cases based on a few elements. So beyond the potential business value that it generates, think also about the complexity. How much effort would it take to actually implement this solution? And also whether you have the right data. So again, going back to the key elements. So once these things are identified, this is where uh, Crayon and my team can come in and support you in uh, enabling you and pushing forward um, AI projects in your company. Okay. In, in concrete terms, can you tell me what the, what can you and your your team help uh, help yes. with the 
getting started with AI. Um, so what we do is um, we come into the at, at the customer where um, the customer has a clear business problem. We also help the customer um, shape it more concretely in the sense that we, we have workshops and we talk to different stakeholders in the, in the organizations to understand um, where this problem occurs, who has this problem and why this problem occurs. Oftentimes the why is really key and also understand what data does the customer have in order to address their problem. So once we have assessed this opportunity, um, we design a solution for it. Uh, oftentimes we design a cloud architecture for it um, as it helps really with accelerating the development. And um, the second thing that we do is before we put, develop these solutions ready for production is we build a prototype. Mm -hmm. And we build a prototype uh, not because we cannot um, put solutions into productions, but we develop it because first and foremost, it's important that the business stakeholders first validate mm -hmm. that the value that that solution can generate is really true and it's there. Um, but also for us, for the technical people, it's important to validate the technical feasibility. So mm -hmm. is the solution uh, really feasible and does it make sense to put it to production. With this approach, so by doing first opportunity assessment and building a prototype, we help to de-risk as much as possible the development of AI solutions. Once these have been validated and the customer um, access basically the performance and the value that the solution generates, um, then we put it into production. So here is where we bring in data engineers, infrastructure engineers, DevOps engineers, in order to deliver this solution then end to end to production. We also provide capabilities to, to monitor um, AI solutions in production because as um, the business changes, also data changes, mm -hmm. and it's important to continuously monitor that the models are performing well and that, that it continues to generate the same business value. So this is where me and my team can help out. Okay, thank you Hilda, that was, uh, that was very interesting.